Hi guys, welcome back to another day with Composition and Improvisation uh, with me, Mr. Wyatt. I'm excited for what we're going to get started with today because we're taking some of the first baby steps um, into some big creations of your own. So the goal of today's video is to give you the tools to uh, help you figure out and find your footing, um, maybe even a jumping off point to improvisation. Now, imp for, if you're not familiar with that term improvisation, it's just a, uh, <clears throat> a term we use in arts like uh, like theater or music and it means just to make something up on the spot you don't sit there and meditate about it and think about it and get your thoughts together and then do it it's just something that comes into you in the instant moment and then you express that so uh if you're playing an instrument it's just whatever you hear in your head and you make that happen on your instrument or maybe you don't even hear it in your head to begin with it's just your hands and your fingers and everything just feels it and then you do it so I'm going to give you some uh, tips and pointers for those things. I'm going to show you a couple of things, um, and then you're going to have an opportunity to improvise on your own today um, and kind of show that off to me, what you've kind of been able to come up with. Um, so first things first, uh, here's some helpful guidelines. Uh, get into the zone. You may want to find a quiet place in your house, somewhere that you know that you can kind of be by yourself, um, that you don't have a lot of distractions like siblings or um, other people's phones going off or a TV that's going, um, TV that's on. You want some place that you can just uh, get into your own head and uh, get lost in your own thoughts. Um, in, a, in a kind of a similar fashion, uh, find a place that you feel like you would be comfortable doing all sorts of uh, different things with music that you maybe you've never done before. Uh, maybe a place where you wouldn't mind if somebody heard you make a mistake, or maybe get a place to where if you felt like you were doing, you know, making mistakes that other people wouldn't hear you. Uh, there's no such thing as a mistake in improvisation. Uh, you, what you made is what you made, and if you liked it, you didn't, and you liked it, and if you didn't like it, then you didn't like it, and there's no right or wrong answer to it. So don't be afraid of doing things um, that are, that are kind of out of the box. There are no limits. Um, to what you can and can't do in your improvisation. But if you feel a little self-conscious about that, then find a place where you can do that comfortably, where you won't feel like other people are uh, listening to you or judging you. All right. Uh, so when you get to, uh, get to time to sit down and you're going to improvise, just give yourself time. Allow yourself to play around with things a little bit um, and just keep playing. Don't stop when you feel like you've done something bad. Or uh, don't sit there and just think about, oh, that was the worst thing ever. I did not like how that sounded. Keep playing and find something that you do like the sound of. Um, rely on your ear and rely on, what, on the music that you hear in your head uh, to play whatever you're going to play on your instrument. And you can um, deviate from the rules, like I said. Don't be afraid to start off with the starting point that I give you, and you're welcome to take your music anywhere that you want to take it. So I'm going to show you a couple things that I use uh, when I am improvising. Um, and I, I see you're looking at my uh, video editing screen, so I'm going to jump over here to my um, YouTube page, and we'll let that load up. So I don't know if you're familiar with this, but on YouTube you can find these uh, these programs. This uh, this uh, not strong program. It used to be a CD um, that's gotten put on YouTube, and it's called Cello Drones. And all it is is a it is a sound recording of a cello player holding out an, an open um, open note or an open string, or sometimes it's not an open string, sometimes it's it's a note, but it's all the all the notes in the musical alphabet. So A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and any sharper version of that. And it's just a drone, which means it's that same note that's just getting held out for a long period of time. And I found that these are really great to help um, improvise with because it makes you feel like you're not alone. Uh, you've got somebody there to support you, but it's really steady and stable sound. So you can do all sorts of experimentation on your own. Uh, I'm going to go on. Each of your groups, uh, no matter what group you're in, if you're Park Street, Divine Street, or Blossom Street, I've given you um, some scale reference sheets for your improvisation today. These are purely a basis for starting off. You don't have to stick with the scale that you uh, begin with, um, and you don't have to play everything in order like it is in the scale. Part of improvisation is taking things that you know and changing them around. So, for example, um, I'm going to go with D major because, 
Blossom Street is going to be dealing mostly with D, D major and B minor this week. Uh, but Park Street and Divine Street, you'll have some more scales that will be at your disposal um, later on into the week. So I'm just going to use D major as my example. So as you can see right here, I've got for Park Street and Divine Street, you're going to have a page that looks similar to this. And you just have the names of the notes in the scale. I haven't written them out on a piece of pay, uh, notation on staff um, because I don't want you to get too caught up in notation. I want you to really think, be thinking about what you're playing yourself um, and what you hear and what you what you uh, feel and what you want to play rather than what you see written on a piece of music. If you're in Blossom Street, I've written the notes down on the staff to help you out. But just the same with Divine and Park Street, you don't have to stick with what's on the page here. Go around and uh, and uh, figure, see what you can figure out on your own and use just the scale as a starting point um, to go somewhere else. So if you see here on the Divine Street and Park Street looks very similar, uh, I've just listed out the, the names of the notes in those scales. But for Blossom Street, be sure you're looking at the uh, scale that's for your instrument. So there's a violin. You got to scroll down for viola. Uh-oh, there went my shoulder rest. There's cello, and there's bass. So I'm going to give you an example. It, may, it might be easy to start off just with the scale. So I'm going to turn my drone on. This is my D drone. I just started off with my scale and then I just went on from there and tried to figure something out uh, that I was just hearing in my head. Now, if you are, don't feel like you can jump off that point quite so easily, maybe you can do something that will build you up into the steps of improvising. So, for example, you could start off with the scale. <laughs> could start putting the scale in a random order. And then once you go from there, use your ear. See what you hear next and see what you like and see what you want to go to, to do from there. Um, I highly suggest using the cello drones, and I'll include uh, a link to those in your uh, video uh, or your materials for today. Um, but go and explore your instrument. Uh, if you're in Blossom Street, today you're going to turn in a video of yourself improvising. Uh, but if you're in Park Street or Divine Street, I have another assignment for you to do with your improvisation. Uh, so be sure you check your Google Classroom for those exact, uh, exact, exact things that you need to do. So happy improvising, and I look forward to seeing what you guys have to offer uh, for, uh, for me. And I can't wait to hear it. Thanks. I'll see you all later.